everybody, it's me, Andy Allison, and my faithful assistant, Sarah Bear. Today, we are so excited to bring you two new books. The first book is going to be The Caterpillar and the, the Pollywog. The second book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're going to be talking about the life cycle of the butterfly today. Yes, this, this is mine. This is going to be part one of this book series. That's why we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're going to be doing more activities with The Very Hungry Caterpillar later but I wanted to bring this out because it has very good illustrations on the life cycle of the butterfly. It shows all of the parts. It shows the caterpillar, and then it shows the cocoon or chrysalis, and then it shows how it becomes a butterfly. So you can use this book when you wanna teach the life cycle of a butterfly, you can also use the Caterpillar and the Pollywog, which is the main one I wanted to talk about today. I love this book. Do you like this book? Uh-huh. It is so cute. The, the little caterpillar goes around and she's kind of bragging, oh, I'm a little caterpillar and I'm going to turn into something else. And she's going around the pond telling everybody and nobody really cares that she's going to turn into anything else except the pollywog. And he says, oh, but I want to turn into something else too. And this fish says, you will turn into something new. Well, when the caterpillar came back around, the pollywog said, hey, guess what? I'm going to turn into something else too. She was so upset. She wanted to be the only one, but he said, hey, let's do it together. She said, okay, I want to go first. So, she spins her cocoon and the pollywog watches and watches and watches and watches. And as he's watching, he's changing too, but he doesn't realize it. Then she comes out a beautiful butterfly and he jumps and hops up and down. And then he realizes, hey, wait a minute, I changed. What happened? I wasn't paying attention. And at first he's kind of sad because he wanted to be a beautiful butterfly. And then he sees himself in the pond and he realizes, hey, I'm a handsome frog. So there are many lessons in this book that we can teach to our children. But the first one that I want to talk about is the life cycle of the butterfly. And again, this is what we're going to make today. today. That's right, today. So, this is mine that I'm going to make. That's right. So first, draw a line straight down. There you go. Good girl. And then draw a line straight across. Good girl. And then we're going to label it. We're going to label the mm -hmm. egg first. And this is how you spell egg. E-G-G -G, and do it on the edge. E, good. G, good. And another G. So this is the egg. And the first thing that we want to do is make the little eggs. Now, I made three. You can make as many as, you, as many or as little as you want. We'll, we'll label it in just a minute, okay? okay? All right, so you make an egg. I'll make an egg and then you can make one more egg, okay? And then we just roll it together and make it into a little egg. Our eggs may be a little big, but that's okay. So we made it into a little circle. Let me see, oh, that's beautiful. She made it into a little circle. You wanna do one more? Okay, while she's making the last egg, I'm gonna take the green construction paper I'm just going to cut a little bit of a square out and then I'm going to turn it into a leaf. So basically, uh-oh, did we drop it? Yeah. It's okay. We can just use two right now. 
Okay, so I make a, a little curve. Yeah, that's nice. And then I'm gonna make one more curve and you have a leaf. Let me see if it's too big. Yep, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Yeah, she's gonna make it a little smaller for Auntie Allison. <laughs> okay. Now we've got our leaf. All right. Me. And then we'll glue it on. Now you could use regular glue or you can use a glue gun. Now we want to make the little veins on the leaf to make it look realistic. Okay. So you draw just a line down the middle. There you go. And then do your little diagonal lines. Yeah. Good girl. And do them down here too. You're doing good. Okay. And good job. If you want to use a Sharpie, that's okay. You can already use a Sharpie or you can use a crayon. That's true. You can. Or a regular marker, right? Yeah, or a regular marker. Okay. Now we're going to take our two eggs and, and glue them. put them on the leaf. So I put two little splotches right there. And put a little, yep. so you, so your kids can put it on. That's right. Okay. Next, so for the first stage of the life cycle of a butterfly is the egg, and they lay the egg yes. on a leaf. The next, they pop out of the egg and become a butterfly. caterpillar. Oh. Yes, so, so right up here, and you got to write it small up here. Okay. Okay, C, A, T, E. It's a long word, so be careful. R, yes, P, I, L L two L's L L A A R Good I girl. Like it, guys. Yes. And it's so important to let your child have that independence and the excitement of doing things by themselves and being successful. All right. Now we're going to do our butterfly and we'll do a little I mean our caterpillar and we'll do a little pattern. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here's one fuzzy. And another, uh-oh, another fuzzy. Bam. And, <laughs> uh-oh, this is not going in there. Yeah, it's not going in there, it's not going. Another fuzzy. And one more fuzzy. They also need to be able to have their own creativity. So now we have our caterpillar. Yeah. Once the caterpillar goes around and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats, and eats from, the, from the leaves and everything, then it forms a chrysalis. Some people call it a cocoon, but it's actually a chrysalis all right so this is a long word too c h r y s a l i s Chrysalis, very good, Sarah Beth. Oh, it looks beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Okay, we got a stick from outside. Now this stick's a little long, so we're gonna just tear a little bit of it off, okay? And now let's hot glue it. Yes, let's hot glue it. And just be careful, just lay it right on top and it'll stick. There, oh, oh, did it get you? 
Yeah. It doesn't burn. Okay, good. It didn't burn me. Oh, good. So it just barely got you. Yeah, it just barely got me. It didn't even burn me. Good. Like, it's so good. I don't know mm -hmm. how. Now, this is the hard part. I took a piece of tissue and I just cut out a little square. Over here, you can see I did green, mm -hmm. but in real life, it's really white. So I used white. Mm -hmm. I kind of pinched the ends of the tissue paper together mm -hmm. and kind of give it a little bit of a fat body. And then we kind of work it as we glue it on. So it's got to look like it's attached to the, the um, stick because it's gonna hang upside down. So just barely, yeah, put that on there. And then mommy will help by squeezing it on. So adults, please help with this part. But again, if you don't use um, a glue gun, and you just use regular glue, they can do this by themselves. Then I kind of puff it up just a little bit. And then I put a little glue right there just to hold the sides down just a little. Mm -hmm. there like we when go. she was making this, I didn't see her make it. See, and there you've got your chrysalis. Yep, there's your chrysalis. So the white does not show up as good as the green. So you might want to use a colored piece of paper. Mm -hmm. All right, and last, what's our last part? Butterfly, Bye. yes. Bye. Okay, yes. So this is a compound word, B, U, T, T, E, R, <laughs> R, uh-oh, fly. So we gotta put F, do it kind of small, F, L, Y. All right, so he we've got really, he really do a lot. butterfly. So we kind of messed up on that, but that's okay. We can fix it so it looks like an E. So we've got butterfly. Now we have to make the butterfly. So you take a piece of colored um, tissue paper and cut it into a square. I'm I used pink. I'm so you're going to pinch the middle together, okay? So pinch the middle together. Yes, okay. And then bring all of this okay. together too. Yeah. So that, hold it like that for mommy. Okay, and yeah, then butterfly. look, yeah, there you go. It looks like butterfly wings. Yeah. So then we take our clip and you're gonna clip the butterfly wings in mm. the middle. So we didn't even have to hot glue that. Well, you didn't have to hot glue that part. And then I kind of spread them out just a little bit to make it look pretty. What and do I'm you think about put, that? Yeah, and I'm gonna put some eyes and then I used just a little piece of a mm -hmm. Chanel stick. Yeah, and, Oops, I'm sorry. And it was funny when she did uh, the angel one for my homeschool and she used a Chanel stick and it was really funny. It was funny, wasn't it? And it was, and she was doing this. She was doing this. So and, then... And I can't. <laughs> I couldn't turn it around. Yeah, you so what we're going to do is we're going to attach it. We're going to glue gun this right at the tip so it looks like little antlers. So Sarah Beth, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here. Mm -hmm. And then look, we're going to stick this in here like this. Okay. 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 So then you have your antlers on your butterfly. And then you wanted to add some eyes. Yeah. Okay. Again, we allow them the freedom of some creativity. So, do your eyes, and I'm, you might put them out. Hmm? Yeah, I might put them okay. out. Okay. You could also talk about how many legs a butterfly has at this point. Butterflies have six legs, like all insects. They also have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and the abdomen. So, you could talk about that, and then, you could segue into a discussion about other insects if you wanted to. Very good. Now, yes, now I'm gonna put 
some glue right here. That's scary. Okay. And then put your, there you go. Now let's move it down just a little bit so you can kind of see your word, oh, butterfly. And then I pinched mine over like that, okay? So here is Sarah Beth's life cycle of a butterfly. Now Sarah Beth, tell me this. The butterfly starts out as a what? As a caterpillar. As, what is this right here? Um, as um, an egg. An egg. Then he pops out and he becomes a what? Caterpillar. A caterpillar. And then, then he does, comes. Then he builds his. Chrysalis. Yes. And then he turns into a butterfly. That's right. Then he turns into a butterfly. And that's how we teach the life cycle of a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing the life cycle of a frog. And that's going to go along again with our book, the caterpillar and the polywog. Once we've done that, we'll do a few more activities for you with the very hungry caterpillar because there's a lot you can learn or teach your children using that book. Thank you again for joining us. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a huge thumbs up. Let, leave any comments about something that you're interested in us doing and seeing. Thank you again. Bye. Peace. <laughs>